Hey, this is Steve, and if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm really big on handle path. So, coming up, I'll give you another real simple example of how handle path works so you get a better understanding of why it helps apply torque into your swing so that you can get more distance and accuracy. Stay tuned. Okay, notice that I'm holding the club upside down. I'm holding it, well, right side up, holding it by the handle. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to push it back and forth, trying to create the truest pendulum I can. So here we have a pendulum action. You can see the handle of the stick. I'm trying to keep it as centered as possible. Now, of course, I'll have to keep pushing every once in a while because my fingers are supplying some friction to keep that pendulum going, otherwise it's going to slow down. But in a frictionless setup, it would just keep swinging back and forth for nearly forever. So now, if I wanted to add um, some velocity to this, sure I could push on it this way, um, but the other thing I could do is I could pull this end of the stick straight vertical. So watch this, I'm going to, as the club swings and falls this way, I'm going to pull upwards. You're going to see how that's going to add um, some acceleration to it. So here's pendulum. Now I'm going to start pulling up. And see the swing higher. So the further I pull upwards in distance and the intensity or the rate at which I accelerate the handle upwards transfers into this end of the stick. So we actually, by manipulating this end, we made this end go faster. Okay, I'll try it again. Straight up. Okay, see how much higher it's swinging because I'm applying this force upwards. We can make this even more intense um, if I will pull the club both upwards and backwards. So I'm gonna start doing that now. Here's our true pendulum. You see the pendulum swing. Now, okay. If I do it hard enough, I can get the club to do a full revolution around the handle. So this end of the stick and the shaft are experiencing a re relatively high amount of torque because of the direction or the vector of the force that I'm putting into the handle. So I'm just pulling backwards and the club is accelerating or getting torqued around the circle. Um, you could see that now if we do that, if I was to do that with a, a golf swing, okay, and I do the same thing with the handle, go up and up and back, I can make the club whip through. So that has implications for both your club head speed, but also as I do that with the handle, it causes the club face to come around and square up so you won't leave it open and you won't have to flip it over going through. It just naturally wants to square up and stay. the face wants to stay on line with the arc a little bit more. So just a simple little experiment there to help you understand the effect that handle path has on the swinging club head. Um, I hope this helps you understand the concept better. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.